All right, it's a big weather forecast for meteorologist Mary Hours. You know, people count on this, Mary. They're looking forward to good weather tomorrow, and you've got it for them, don't you? I've got it for them. I'm going to be everyone's favorite person tomorrow morning. Now, it's going to be a really nice St. Patrick's Day parade, unlike some others that we've had in the past where there's been some heavy snow. Well, we don't have the snow yet, but it is in the forecast. Right now, we are at 46 degrees. Winds are out of the northwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour, so that's ushering in some cooler air, and our temperatures have been falling through the day. We started off in the 60s at midnight, and then through the day, fell to the 50s, and now we're in the 40s, and tomorrow morning, we wake up in the mid to upper 30s. 30s. We had rain showers earlier this afternoon for areas into mainly south of I-70, parts of West Virginia, and now those are off to the south and off to the east, and clouds are decreasing. That's going to leave us with some cooler temperatures tomorrow morning, and we are already about 15 to 20 degrees colder from this time yesterday. Temperatures at 45 in Washington and Beaver. Newcastle, you're at 41 degrees. 46 in Irwin, 45 Greensburg, and 42 right now in Indiana. Overnight, low temperatures drop down into the mid to upper 30s. And then once that sunshine comes out, we are at 50 degrees by noon and near 60 through the afternoon. So three, four o'clock, we should see that high temperature and some certainly touching 60 degrees tomorrow. Winds will diminish overnight and then tomorrow into the afternoon. We have gusts picking up at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. So it does get breezy through the afternoon, but certainly a nice day if you want to get out to enjoy. So after tomorrow, the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful sunrise, sunset, all of that, we have rain that moves in right around midnight and that's going Going to be a very quick moving system, not looking at a lot of rain, but some places could pick up a quick heavy downpour overnight, lasting until about five o'clock in the morning on Sunday into the Laurel Highlands and ridges could even see a little wintry mix. And then by Monday we have colder air moving in and behind that we'll see some lake enhanced snow showers around snow squall possible for some places and that could really trigger places seeing about an inch of snow north of I-80 and also into the Laurel Highlands, those higher elevations. It's going to be a blustery start to the week. 36 degrees tonight, mostly cloudy and chilly. Tomorrow morning for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, we're waking up with temperatures in the upper 30s, but we're back around 50 degrees at noon, 1 o'clock, 53 degrees. Looking at our seven day forecast, actual St. Patrick's Day, 50 degrees, Monday 40 with snow showers. Spring begins on Tuesday. It's not going to feel like it. Some early morning snow showers are possible in the vernal equinox at 11.06 at night. First full day of spring Wednesday, 47 degrees, partly cloudy, near 60 on Thursday with sunshine, and rain showers Friday with highs staying near 60.